All right, looking on this Sunday, uh, Shaman Naya has uh, signed with the Mets, which is not entirely bad. He's a two-year deal. That's pretty good for the Mets. It's not uh, Blake Schnell or Jordan Montgomery pick, but that's fine, you know. But they still need to get another pitcher. I really think that other Japanese pitcher is perfect for them. Uh, put them in there. That's a good top three, plus you still have uh, Katana as a four. Not bad if you're a Mets fan. That's what you want to do. But as far as uh, the J.D. Martinez drama is what I'm going to call it. It's not really drama. It's just me making that up. J.D. Martinez fits perfect here in Arizona. Perfect. Don't go to Seattle. You know, you want to win. You said you want to win. And you made it plain and simple when you signed with the Dodgers. Now Arizona opens up. And that is a likely scenario that can win. Top to bottom, that lineup, one through eight, is ridiculous with J.D. Martinez in that lineup. A lot of people are talking about plan B would be like a Jorge Soler, which is a great, great, don't get me wrong, great plan B. But I would argue that J.D. Martinez is probably the best hitter, even above Cody Bellinger. And the things that you get with J.D. is a professional hitter. I love when they say that, professional hitter. Good average, lots of home runs. He had a lot of home runs in L.A. with not even 500 at-bats. It was like four-something. Um, remember when he was here in Arizona in, in that stadium with 29 home runs in 63 games? Ugh, Arizona, I'm telling you right now, management, if you pick him up, I promise you I'll go out and buy a J.D. Martinez jersey as long as it's a two-plus year contract. Two with a team option for the third or just give him the three. If you go Jorge Soler, I'm not going to be mad. Not bad. But be, besides that, maybe Tiasco Hernandez. You know, I heard that they want to bring in a left-handed DH. Uh, Jock Peterson, maybe. Uh, I just JD just fits. He's just... JD Martinez would fit this team to a T. So I think they need to go and do that and pick him up. Uh, other news that's going on in the league... Today on Sunday is the rumors is, you know, Tiasco Hernandez going to the Dodgers. Yeah, it's fine. Go ahead. We get to the playoffs. That's all we need. Um, they look pretty deep. I think Jason Jason Hayward's career is, you know, he's gotten better playing there. If he hit, hits seven, eight, seventh or eighth in that lineup, he's going to do well. And then you got Tiasco up there batting sixth or seventh. Jeez, that team's going to look scary. And that puts Chris Taylor back on the bench. He's a super utility. You know, he's not your starter you don't want him as a starter if you're a Dodgers fan but you know what they already look super good so we'll see what happens uh if I'm the Giants Giants need to wake up go get Reese Hoskins play first go get Chapman and play third go get Blake Snell you have the money now you're a big market team you're not a Arizona a Colorado a Milwaukee Kansas City fan base you are a big city so you missed out on uh Shohei so pick up the pieces Blake Snell boom you got Chapman at third boom and you got Reese Hoskins playing first base would be really good for your team uh if I'm the Rockies I just I don't care Rockies are horrible they're just not management it is just showing everyone we don't care you screwed up on Chris Bryant paid him too much now you have no money to do anything else that's on you um make some trades I don't know do whatever but you're irrelevant in the in that division san diego there's a couple things they could do they're gonna be fine as long as you have T tatis machado in that lineup they're gonna do well uh bogart's gonna have a better year they're they're fine they're 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 fine um that's pretty much it um going back to the dog uh not daughter's drama but the dimebacks drama go get jd martinez i heard trevor bauer maybe but that's just fans saying trevor bauer the management's not gonna bring him in uh, they didn't like his attitude when he was here, which is fine. But if he's changed and you can get him cheap, wouldn't you kind of pull the trigger on that? It depends, right? It depends what the Dodgers do. Uh, if I was ownership, you can't. It's going to give me bad PR. Even though he's innocent, there's a lot of, a lot of fans out here are not going to be, they're not going to jive with that. So, um, and out west, in a nutshell, you're going to get Dodgers going to win that division again. But Dimebacks get a, get a spot. The Giants might, depending on if they get other pieces. You know, they can go on the trade market and trade for, for one of these pitchers. You know, a Beaver is going to come cheaper. Uh, I think he's, you know, lost a step, but he's still very good. 
Um, there's a lot of things San Francisco can do if they don't want Blake Snell. You know, they, they still got to get pitching. You still got to get a Matt Chapman fits perfect on that team. Um, so does Reese Hoskins. You compete if you get those two guys at your corners. But Bob Melvin, he knows uh, Blake Snell. And I think that's going to happen. So we'll see what happens. Uh, big big J.D. Martinez fan, so hopefully he signs. And if you're watching this, J.D., which you're probably never going to see this, sign. I'll go out there. I'll buy all four of your jerseys of the new colorways that they have, which they're all pretty sweet. My favorite is the red with the Diamondbacks on it. That's the first one I'm getting. The white, I didn't like it as much, but it grew on me. I, I think it's really nice. They will all have Martinez 28 on the back, I promise you. If that happens so that's your uh, NLS pretty much the division that we care about here so we'll see what happens